What we're seeing across the other side of the world is that the situation in Palestine is only getting worse and worse. Last month saw the deadliest month in the deadliest year since official global records began in 2005. But of course, unofficial records will be way, way higher. What we're witnessing then is that the continued onslaught of the Palestinian people by Israeli forces, which, by the way, includes children who are being systematically targeted. And we're also hearing from people on the ground that majority of these people shot and killed they're not even armed at the time so just to also put into consideration that these attacks are happening during army raids and settler attacks which as we know are violations of international law so then we have to look at the international community's response it's not good enough it is simply not good enough it's all well and good with the united nations finally taking some sort of stand the un rights commission has recently said that the occupation is illegal but it's no good if that is all it's simply not enough no one has been held accountable there's no punitive actions against the israeli aggressors and they simply go about their deadly business almost entirely scot-free what are the consequences of this then is that the Israeli forces have created an environment where no person can walk freely in Palestine. No child can roam around without their parents being completely concerned for their safety and for their life. So here in the international community, I'm in Britain at the moment, but communities in the East, West, Europe, wherever you are on the globe, it is our moral obligation and duty to stand up in solidarity with the Palestinian people. It's our duty and moral obligation to pressure our government. So here in the UK, what we're seeing now is this unbelievable chop changing of prime minister after prime minister. But what that's doing is cultivating some sort of climate where global problems are simply swept under the carpet. If international conflicts have taught us anything this year and in recent years, no one is truly liberated till all communities trapped under oppression are free. How many more years and decades must Palestinians suffer?